Good kitten once more. I've updated the spreadsheet with our new stats. I uh, wanted to point out a couple of things. Let's go ahead and start looking at some of our characters. So, um, we haven't changed the levels of the archers that much, but things have become a lot more obvious in that May is definitely a hit point archer. Um, that's not so great because, <clears throat> okay, so I should probably describe a little bit further when it comes to Shining Force strategy. Uh, um, just lowering the volume in my own ear on the music. I should probably lower the volume for you as well. I did not actually check to see how loud the music was, but the audio of Shining Force 2 is not that big of a deal. So I can drop the volume by quite a bit and not be too concerned. <clears throat> so, um, as I've mentioned before, the way Shining Force 2 characters work is that you have a base set of stats and then each character seems to have one stat that they are good at. Um, so, for instance, Slade is obviously much better than everybody else at defense. And May is obviously much better than everybody else at hit points. Uh, it doesn't... I can't tell what Kazin's ability is because he's one level lower, but he looks an awful lot like the lower of the two stats for everybody else. He might just be garbage. Um, or it could just be that he needs to level up more for it to be more obvious. Uh, Chester here is probably attack. Because Chester is also one level lower and is the same attack as the two higher level ones. Unfortunately, with there's randomness, it's hard to tell. But the reason why you may want to look at a hit point based character versus, say, a defense based character. Defense is used for being hit. If somebody is walking, if a golem is slamming a piece of rock in your face, you're going to want defense. Um, if somebody's spell casting at you, though, you want hit points. So that's why having hit point based characters are good against spellcasters and having defense based characters are good against things like golems. Um, for archers though, I don't want archers in melee combat. I want them to be far back as possible. They should have enough hit points in defense to survive a hit and that's probably about it. Uh, so I prefer my archers to have attack. Oh, I should mention agility based. Agility based, one, your initiative will be higher so you'll be able to go earlier on. And two, you'll have a higher chance of defending or getting two attacks. So agility based is, it's not so great in Shining Force 2 in general. Um, so what I want are attack based archers. There are no attack based archers in Shining Force 2. I think May might technically count as attack based or maybe Road does. I don't remember now. I'd have to check. I actually have all of this in the spreadsheet for reference. I just need to find where I put it. And I don't actually know where that is right now. But anyway, um, point is, yeah, I'm pretty sure May is a hit point based archer and I'm pretty sure Slade is a defense based archer. I'm hoping that Kazin is actual or that Chester is actually attack based because that would be great and I will absolutely keep using Chester. Uh, for the others, you've got Thieves. So, it's still very obvious that Luke is hit point based thief. I think Sarah might actually be an attack based thief. It's possible that she has agility. Definitely not a all stats thief. So, I'm hoping. Oh, also, keep in mind, they could actually be NP based thieves because thieves promote to a ninja which has magic. So, I'm not entirely sure what's going to go on with that. Uh, finally, we've got mages. Mages, usually I don't care about the stats anywhere near as much as I care about um, what spells they have. Gerhalt is probably agility, but potentially hit points. Um, Jaha is probably MP, which MP-based mages are the best mages. Um, it's also possible that Jaha is defense. Don't know yet. I need to get Gerhalt up to a higher level to be sure. Uh, let's go ahead and close Excel, or hide it. So last time, we grinded in my least favorite spot in the game to grind, because it's a giant desert, and I hate deserts in this game. But we found a researcher that wants to go to a tunnel to go back to Grants, and that's where we're at right now. That's what this is. 
It's my job! Rochambeau! Boom. Okay, you go first. I'm done my job. This is the ancient hall that leads to the ancient tunnel. These people are not very good at, you know, naming things. Hmm. There are more monsters here. But we take them out. So, this is a very special battlefield. Because this is our first instance where we have treasure chests in battle. So in Shining Force 2 in Japan, you have the ability to search treasure chests. Um, when you don't move the, uh, what's it actually called? Um, the stay command turns into a search command and you search the treasure chest. In Shining Force 2 US, that ability didn't exist. Um, there were a lot of rumors as to why, and it turns out that somebody typoed a single bit, and it disabled the ability to do that. Basically, it's just skipping over the code that allowed you to search in combat. So, one of the things that I have is a mod to put that back. So I actually can search in combat, assuming that mod, or that patch, I should say, actually works. This is the first point of the game that we can actually find out. Also, every chest in the game, with one as an exception, I think, is a monster in a box. Now, I could just search all of these chests after battle, and that's perfectly fine. I'm just not going to because I want XP. Okay, let's take a look at the map. So, enemies are fairly spread out. We've got golems to the left, golem above... This goober, we're going to get very familiar with gargoyles, by the way, because this is the first battle in the game that we fight gargoyles, and we still fight gargoyles until, oh, probably about a third of the way through the game. The same gargoyle, I'm not talking about higher level versions. It's a glitch, I think. I think they meant to have a different type of gargoyle in there and just never did. Gargoyles are annoying, but they're not the end of the world. They don't have MP, they just have high attack and floating ability. Fine, whatever. Their attack's lower, uh, higher than a golem. We're going to have to be a little careful about how strong they are. And because they're floating rather than flying, if I remember right, they actually do get defense bonuses. No, the one that we really need to be concerned about are the arrow launchers. Arrow launchers, while they do have a significantly lower attack, uh, actually, they have a much lower attack. Is this the one that they inverted arrow launchers and those stupid um, knights that use arrows? Anyway, um, maybe this is the one that we have to worry about the gargoyles. We've got one black monk, two black monks, and two master mages. Okay. So the master mages, the only things that are using... Offensive, oh, the Master Monks can use Blast, but who cares about Blast? Blast is a garbage spell for garbage people. Uh, let's go ahead and boost. Uh, I may be using this battle for uh, grinding, because this is a much better location for grinding. One, the arrow launchers, I believe, give... XP up to like level 24 or so. And two, there's not freaking sand everywhere. I feel like I'm Anakin and hating sand. So, one thing I want to pay attention to is the land effect. You'll notice that, okay, they are flying and not floating. Because land effect is zero on them. Um, floating creatures actually do get land effect, flying creatures do not. So one thing that you will notice is that in this area, we have fairly good movement, but the land effect is 15 to 30%. So what that means is that we get better defense on the rubble than we do on not rubble. So you're going to notice that I'm going to be prioritizing a lot of rubble for where I'm standing for characters that are, you know, frontline. I'm actually going to mostly wait to let people come at me. 
Come at me, bro. Bloop. Injecting too much coffee directly into your veins. I did not grab a beverage before I started this. That was silly of me. Thief. I mean, I would like to put Luke here, but he's just going to get hit upside the head with a slab of meat. And by meat, I mean stone. Okay. You're boosted. You're not. You're not. You're not. Okay. So this will boost three. Ooh, I can already feel my throat getting scratchy. I will be right back. I'm going to um, grab a hand of LaCroix, I think. Just waiting for it to... There we go. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I should have grabbed it ahead of time, but... All right. Uh, Sarah... You can go and start your stabbings. You can continue stabbings because I can't get hit there from a ranged attack, which is always my concern as a flyer. And you can finish off the golem. Thump. There we go. Chester's plus one to everything. Just keeping my healer he XP'd up. I'm gonna move you up closer because I want you to stab things. The arrow launcher is going to be upset that it can't reach anybody right now. I've definitely activated the arrow launcher by getting close enough, but yeah. Ah, uh, the gargoyle's activated as well. Both of them. So many archers. Uh, I can't reach this round, so I'm going to stay behind a bit. A little concerned about that top golem. That one. Okay, now I'm in range of the golem for sure. Could be dumb and do that. It's not the worst thing, actually. So you always have to watch out for flyers against arrows. These flyers have no land effect, so they take substantially more damage than you would effect uh, you would expect. Oh, I'm off by one. Freeze, sucker! That shouldn't kill it. No, that does 10. 10? Are, are arrow launchers actually strong against ice? I don't know if I've ever noticed that. <laughs> Agility increased by 2. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Gerhalt is a agility mage. Damn. Jeez, May. Jeez. Finish him off with Slade. Who are you shooting? I'm shooting Slade. Interesting. Thump. Ah, no! 14 damage. I 
think they'll finish off the arrow launcher. Yeah. See, arrow launcher is giving 48 XP to somebody who's level 17. So that's definitely better XP than what I had before. Ah, okay. There you go. Heal you up. Good job. A plus. I don't like the fact that that thing hasn't gone yet. The gargoyle all the way over to the left. Just got an email. Did I just win that stupid eBay auction? No, I did not. Okay, good. Gerhawk got hit for 26! Ugh. Good thing nobody else is there right now. Jeez. Gerhalt's one of my higher level ones, too. Hold on a moment. Need to deal with auctions. And I'm not going to win any of these anyway. Uh, let's see. We'll go with... Okay, got that. All right, Peter. You're not going to do much, but you know what? You might as well. Man, having my tort be Peter was terrible since I couldn't control him for such a long time. All right, you know what? It's science time. Let's do this. So I never use Blast because Blast does less damage than Blaze, but I know things have elemental strengths. So Blast 2 does 7. Blaze 2, which costs 1 MP more, mind you, does 9. And keep in mind, Gargoyles are strong against this. Which means this is just garbage damage. Just utter trash. So Blast 1 does 6. So it only does one fewer point of damage. And Blaze 1 does 6. All right. So it must just be strong against all forms of magic. Which means I don't know why I would do anything but Blast 1 at this point. Or Blaze 1. Doesn't matter. I don't get to use Blast very often, so I'll use that. Also, for comparison... How much just Freeze do? 9. For Freeze 1. They must not... Oh, I forgot to save before. Eh, it doesn't matter. So it must not be resistant to freeze at all. Which means this should do full damage. No, it didn't. It did less than full damage. Just freeze is better. Costs more, but it's better. Okay. I would like somebody else to kill that. I have two thieves that need to level up. And that's one of them. Stabbings? Stabbings. There we go. Okay. This is the beginning part. This is the part where I should consider whether I should teleport back or not. And I think I will, because I want to grind some. I'm not going to record the grinding. I'm just going to get back to roughly this point again, but with higher levels. So, I'll be back. 
All right, and we're back in the middle of a melee because, uh, reasons. We'll just go with reasons. I may end up actually having the egress. So our levels are significantly higher than they were before. Uh, here, let me just quickly show you. So we're all in the 18s to 20 range now, except for Peter, who's at 15. Yeah. Most people are 19. I still have 118, 120. Jaha is all the way up to 25 now because... Boost is awesome. He still hasn't gained any additional spells, may I note. Um, Kiwi did gain level 3 heal. <clears throat> and Gerhalt has proven that he is the worst mage. He gained Dispel. So, Silence. It's not exactly a useful spell to have. So, he's going to be converted into a Sorcerer so I can reroll some of his attacks. I'm going to miss Egress, but uh, not so much on the rest. Um, yeah, not sure where to go from here. So, I have significantly more deaths than before, because I decided to prioritize <clears throat> leveling, a, leveling a Peter over not dying. Uh, speaking of Peter, where the hell am I going to put him? Hi, Yasin. I guess there. Uh, nobody's dead at the moment. <laughs> so, you know. Admittedly, uh, I believe, um, yeah, Chester's down to one hit point. Other than that, not really much has happened. Yeah, Bowie's a uh, little overpowered at the moment. But at this point of the game, I'm supposed to have a bird warrior. Isin, please stop going up to the monitor. You can be on my lap. That's fine. And Jaha is um, ludicrously overpowered because I'm not really supposed to have boost at this point in the game. Even though I could have it. I mean, in other Shining Force games, you do have boost this early. Isin just wants to jump on my lap, except that he doesn't want to just be on my lap. He wants to be a here. It's overkill, but I think I just need this thing dead. Boop. Level 20. HP, MP, attack, defense, agility... No level up of any skills, because why would you do that? That would be reasonable. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll stab there. Hold on, got a text message. Uh, is there anybody even hurt that I can reach? Oops. Come on. Kazin's hurt. Uh, can't reach Kazin. Self-healing it is. Hi. <sighs> I don't want to retreat everybody from over there. Because I know I still have Golem and those two goobers. And then, is there another gargoyle there? Yeah. That's going to be where I fight next, so. Okay. How many hit points are you down? I could probably kill it. Save stating, just in case if this is a dumb idea. I think I can kill it. Yeah, okay. Let's start moving people back to the center. Sarah, are you going to be okay? Probably? I'll go with probably. Yeah, as long as I don't wake up that gargoyle, I should be okay. 
that gargoyle is awake and is coming for me. I could do that. That's probably not a great idea. I'm thinking about doing it anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and save state again. For the commander of bad ideas, it's Peter. Thump. He's doing seven damage now to a golem. Instead of the two that he was before. Oh, he leveled up again. Attack defense agility. No hit points, as usual. Uh, let's see. Who of this group is boosted? Jaha is boosted. Lucas not. Slade is not. Iwi is. May is. Me boost. Okay. <sighs> Bowie, I'm just going to put you there for now. Kind of using Bowie as bait. Okay, there are multiple people that are very heavily injured. Uh, do I heal Kazin? Do I heal Chester? I think I'm going to heal Chester. Now you get to look at heal 3. It's very similar to heal 2, except it's a much longer range, and it heals quite a bit more. It also costs double the amount of MP as heal 2. Uh, fun fact about heal 3... If you have a character with both heal 3 and aura 3, there's no reason to ever cast heal 3. It does the it costs the exact same amount of MP, has the exact same range, only aura has an area of effect. Just yeah. Or is it I know aura 4 versus heal 4 is definitely the case. Uh, I think this will kill it. Yep. I mean, I would like to have... Ooh, I'm only getting one XP from them now. From... Uh, level 19? Yeah, Slade's 19. So I don't get any XP at that point. Got it. Your movement's 7 or 6? Six? 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. You can reach. I am going to step in the way. I don't know if Chester's getting a move before then. Ah! Chester is getting a move before then, but I had no way of knowing that. Uh, Chester, you're going to sit there. You're going to come over and say hi to Kiwi. Hopefully Kiwi finally has a good enough defense to take... Yeah, okay. Kiwi kept getting one-shotted by those things earlier. It was an obnoxious. Uh, I think this is safe. Stab. Oh, dang it. No dodging. Dodging's not allowed. Yep, you're going after the Birdman. Look at how much damage Bowie takes. 22 points of damage. You're going to punch Luke in the face. Luckily, you don't hit very hard. They're not awake yet. Good. Okay. Do I stay in tank? I think the answer is yes. Yeah, my melee characters are too far away. I think I need to stay in tank. The problem is that mage could kill me easily. Uh, Isin, please stop walking there. Ah, uh, he was being so cute and comfortable and just curled up in his little bed over to my left and nope he decides he wants to be the center of all attention i mean he is that cute but okay let's think about this huh i think staying here and fighting is a better option even though i'm gonna die if i get hit again just because otherwise i'm just being chased think this is a good option. I could have free freezed instead. That would have done more damage. I 
Not that I have anything that could reach. Okay. I've got one more Mega Heal, and that's it. I could just do a regular heal on Bowie. Kiwi's gonna die if I don't heal him, though. <sighs> Better kill the gargoyle to my right. Otherwise, this is gonna go poorly. I need to kill that thing too, but... Oh, looks like I actually can kill it. Well, I chose poorly. Uh, probably not, actually. Just die, please. One hit point. I can kill it with May. What is Kiwi's movement? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, definitely can't reach with Kiwi. <sighs> yeah, I think it's better to make sure it's dead. Because otherwise I'm dead. I still get good XP. Hey, Sin, what are you doing, Kitty? Oh, I love you too. Okay. They're going to heal themselves because I hit them. So the AI, the way it works is that it will prioritize. And when they have a heal spell, they will prioritize healing themselves over most things. And I went, just heal yourself. It's fine. I have healing items and money. Yep, that's exactly what I was expecting to have happen. Ow. Cat. That's the reason why I needed to heal Peter. It's because taking 9 damage is nasty when you only have 12 hit points. Okay. This is probably a bad idea. Oh, cat! He's hitting keys on my keyboard. I have no idea what he just did. Just said game focus on. <laughs> That was a nice hit, Peter. Good job. Heal yourself. I have no idea what Game Focus On does. Uh, apparently it turns off my mouse. What button did you even hit, cat? This might be a problem, because I can't pause recording right now. But... Yeah, that was a mistake. I have no idea what button he hit. Scroll lock? Yes, okay, scroll lock. There we go, I have a mouse again. Good. Shoot you in the face. In the face! Ooh, you have one hit point left. Which means the monk's gonna try to heal you. Okay, are there any items over here for me to loot? No. So one chest is there, one chest there. And that's it, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to move. I can't even hit if I wanted to. I think I need to get Luke out of there? Or can Luke biff somebody hard enough? Is soon really cat? He's constantly trying to be in the way for me. Oh, kitty cat. Oh.
It's like he knows that I'm recording. I mean, I would definitely prefer to have Kiwi hit. I think this is okay. Stab. Luke's hit 20. Still can't hit anything. Are you an idiot? I think the Master Mage is an idiot. Yep, you're going to heal yourself, and that's fine. And yes, you can totally abuse by constantly hitting the Black Monk and constantly getting XP. The problem is that you get very little XP for not killing something. So the amount of XP that you gain is based off of how much damage you deal and whether you kill something or not, and also what level they are. So, like, Peter's actually getting a decent amount of XP for killing that, whereas Peter would probably only get, like, 8 XP for killing the Master Monk. I did it again! Damn it. I keep forgetting. That's a mage, not an archer. And that's my last heal. That's fine. Meow. Of course, it just dawned on me that I blocked the last archery route. Again. Dang it, me. <sighs> I'm going to move back. They're not paying attention. Master uh, Black Monk's gonna heal himself. Got three more heals in him. This will be a good experience for Peter. I deal 13 damage. Pretty good, actually. Plus two attack and defense. Nice. Um Bird Brain's gonna go fly away. Gerhalt will stand there and blast one him. Oop. Crit for seven. Okay. Now, this is the part that I'm pretty sure that these are monsters in boxes, but I'm going to double check. Uh, I don't have the patch on. Well, that stinks. I'm going to have to remedy that because I absolutely need to be able to search in combat later. This battle, it's not that important because I have the ability to just walk through myself. But uh, I thought I had the patch enabled. Do I not? There's the three digit fix. There's the search and battle fix. I'll have to do it between episodes. Uh, it must not be applied properly. Oh, wow. Sarah's two levels lower than Luke now. Luke also has 10 extra hit points. It's ridiculous. Okay. Well... That means there's no reason for me to go over there. Uh, Kiwi, you're not going to be doing much. Yep. Black Monk's going to heal itself. I mean, it's going to keep happening. I could probably just keep Kiwi there, to be honest. Or Peter, sorry. Kiwi is usually the one that's the tortoise. It's good XP. I think I'm going to do that, actually. That should wake everybody else up. A 
I'm aiming to primarily use Sarah up here, since Sarah's the only level 18 character I have left. Kiwi's just going to be a blocker, basically. So I should probably keep Kiwi down with the Black Monk now that I think about it. Just in case the Black Monk gets two inits in a row. Yep, they're moving now. I'm dealing slightly less damage than they're healing. And that's fine. All right. Let's see. This would be dumb. Yeah, it would be. Hey, soon. What's wrong, kitty? Why are you now in crazy cat hour? <sighs> Cats. Your movement's four? Four. One, two, three, four. You can hit Bowie. And nobody else. That's fine. Or oh, Bowie and Sarah. Yeah. Which is intentional. Yep, see what I mean by the double attack? Or double move? Or are you actually... No, you still have me, huh? Oh well, you're dead now. I gained a lot of XP out of that one black monk. Ow. I am level 18. I leveled up Peter seven times in this combat, whereas everybody else I leveled up yeah, roughly twice. I should check to see who's boosted. You're boosted. You're not. You're not. You're not. You are. Okay. Okay. It's weird. Jaha basically only casts boost constantly because there's no reason for me to use his magic. Because he's so overpowered compared to everybody else right now. Not exactly what I was going for, but you know. You do what you gotta do, right? Okay. I need to stand here. Slice. Slice. I think this will be fine. Save stating because this is a dumb idea. Just gonna soften them both. Thump. Thump. Goes in, smite. Oh, you're not dead yet, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Level 19 isn't good enough to kill those things. Okay. That means that I want Sarah to kill the golem. Stab. Sarah's the only one that can get XP from it beyond uh, Peter. And nobody's within range for me to heal. Just stand there. This is a dumb idea also, so I'm not going to do it. Yep, this is what I was concerned about. I think that would be death. Yeah, let's do the dumb idea. It's basically stand in the way where I can't get shot at. So now they have to go. Oh, I didn't realize that she was in range. Ah, uh, she's alive. It's fine. 
Everything's fine. Thump. Level 20 Slade! Ooh, that was a terrible level up. Gerhalt can probably take the hit. Yeah. It's double hits or crit hits that would be a problem. Fly around, I'm thinking, back here. I would just kill the arrow launcher. I don't think I would kill the gargoyle. Especially not when they dodge. Okay. You're standing back. You know what? Let's go ahead and boost some more. Whoops. Only one of them actually could do anything. Whoopsies. Oh, damn it. That's a mage. I keep forgetting that. Two hit points remaining. Okay. I can't do anything other than step in the way with them. Checking on people's hit points in this area. They are all fine except for Geralt. Grr. I might have to use Luke to kill something. I'm going to try not to. Honestly, the arrow launcher is actually more dangerous right now. One moment is... Oh, that was the boss. Well, hold on a moment. Because it's in throwing up. Alright, back again. It's lucky for me that I met you. Thank you. Follow me to the engine tunnel. Why is this door closed? It's strange. Oh, well, it's going anyway. Let me try that again. Pedro, my grandson, locked the door. Petro, damn it. Sorry, guys, we can't go to Grand's Island this way. La 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 la. This was all for nothing. <laughs> so, yep, we can't go there. The whole reason why we came was for these treasure chests. It's a wooden panel. And power water. All right. Now we have the wooden panel, which is a key item that we needed. Uh, by the way, I should mention, we're actually doing this, I think, slightly out of order. Um, so this actually is a section of the game that is a little um, non-linear. So technically, the moment that we left the... Um, all right, the moment that we gained Oddler, we could have sailed down and fought the boss that's coming up. And the boss is going to be in the, uh, the next video. Um, instead, I went around the boss and did other things first. We still have to do these things. It's just the order that I'm doing them in. And I'm not actually sure what the quote-unquote correct order is. I think what I'm doing is the correct order. But it's not the order that you would do normally. But, there's a hollow to put something into. So, this always tripped me up as a kid. So, I couldn't figure out how to use this item. Uh, this is actually where I got stuck in the game the first time. And while there is a hint that it is, goes in there, the problem is that you have to hit a different button than normal. So, if this was a Sega Genesis controller... Mm, do I have a Genesis controller here? 
Um, I don't. My Sega Genesis is over there, but I don't see the control. Oh, it, hold on. I just found the controller. <laughs> That's not the controller. That's the other one. Oh, well. Anyway. Um, it's kind of irrelevant, but pretend that this is a Sega Genesis controller. So you would have... This is A, B, and C for the buttons that you press. And then you have this in. Um, everything in this game, with a couple of exceptions, use C and B. In order to be able to do this, you have to use A. Because C will just search, whereas A will open up the menu. Even though, when you're standing in most other places, C also opens the menu. So this brings us down here into some scary ruins. A little bit of a maze. But this gives us a key item. It's the Achilles sword. So, normally, I really hope Rek did, uh, made this work correctly. Uh, no, he didn't. Poop. That's going to be something else I'm going to have to edit. So, normally the Achilles Sword can only be used by the Swordsman and Hero classes. What we need to do is edit the file in order to allow the Achilles Sword to be used by somebody else, because you're required to fight using the Achilles Sword in one battle. Like, as in, the enemy does not take damage from other weapons. So, gonna have to fix that. Not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. Anyway, let's go ahead and I think nobody died. Yep. Let's go ahead and save here. Then I will stop for this recording, um, update my spreadsheet and start another one. Hope you've enjoyed this internet. Again, I know strategy RPGs aren't as interesting to watch. I just felt like playing and continuing. And I want to see my way through this. This is one of my favorite games, after all. So, I'll talk to you later, Nanette. Bye! Boo-boo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-